Welcome crafters, Andy is Jordi here, and this is a slightly unusual video. It's all about how to make a good house plan. I do apologize for the weird banner on my head and the fact that my right arm is missing. <clears throat> I don't know what the heck is going on. Anyway, this video, it's all about how to plan out a big house like this. People in my comments have been putting things down like, Andy, how do you plan and start a big monster mansion like this? What do you do first? What do you do second? Well, the answer is make a good plan. And this is what this video is about, guys. So stick around and I'll show you how to make a good house plan. Look at how complicated this one is. This is by Executioner37 on the World of Corellis. Coordinates in the description. Check it out, but don't leave it long because he's going to start to build it very soon. But before that, I thought I would show you guys his thought process. Because um, he showed me this yesterday and I, my mind was blown. This is a much more detailed plan than I usually do. And because he's put furniture in it as well. He's marked out with the cyan and the green wool where the furniture is going to go. So, it's pretty amazing. This is the thing you've got to do. Make a big plan like this to make a super huge giant mansion and then decide where the furniture is going to go. Um, so when you come to actually put the furniture in, you've already thought about where it's going to go and it kind of just already makes sense. You know, for a start, do you know what this is? This is the dining room table. And I tell you why this is so important. You want your dining room table to be centered on the window. So he's put a five wide window with this seat here centered. Imagine if he'd done a four wide window and then later on come to put the dining room table in and it just wasn't sitting center in the room. It would just look weird, right? You don't want to be doing that. So let's have a look at Executioner 37. He's got his nice big plot and he's made his plan. I'm going to have a look in detail at the plan. So. Looks like <clears throat> he's got some sort of entrance porch porch here. Then a hallway. <clears throat> Not sure what this is. I think this means it's a carpet. So this is a carpet. The cobblestone is the walls. The furnaces are going to be the gaps where the doors are going to go. Um, <clears throat> and we've got some steps already. The sunk he's indicated here that he's sinking down a level. So his floor level is going to be here. Um, this is a sunken lounge. So let's have a look. So there we go, the living room. He's got a big fireplace. He's already marked out some, some built-in cabinets at the side. Chair, chair, couch. And then we've got another chair, table, and couch, and some more units built in there. Stepping up into the kitchen, he's got a little breakfast room, and he's planned out where the windows are going to go as well. Little bench under the window. I mean, this is where you keep some uh, crockery, your plates and stuff. And in the kitchen with a bar, two bar stools here, um, like a little bar area, like a breakfast bar, an island. And then he's planned out where the main hobs and stuff are going to go with uh, a door out the kitchen leading back down towards the dining room. So the dining room is kind of the first thing you see as you come in. And that's, that's a great idea. Um, you want your hall to, to really connect your kitchen, your dining room, your main living room area, and you don't want to be walking miles and miles to get anywhere in your house. Pretty important. He's got a butler's pantry over here. If you don't know what a butler's pantry is, this is the room where if you've got a formal dining occasion here, you know, mostly the family's going to eat in here, right? The breakfast room. Even lunch and stuff, they're just going to eat it there. But to have a formal dining room set out, and you've got the whole family around, Maybe Thanksgiving in America, Christmas Day, um, whatever you're trying to celebrate, your, your big um, fast-breaking meals and so on, you would, you would have it here in your formal dining room. And the butler's pantry can keep the food hot, it's got a sink, microwave, plenty plates, wine, extra glasses, cutlery, and it can all be brought through. Now, if I was executioner, I would have made like a little doorway through here the butler's pantry but that's something he can think about for later on so what else has he thought about beautiful sunken lounge then into kind of a nice big hallway the great thing about a three wide hallway in minecraft is you've got room for furniture or plants and still room to walk through 
yeah and then we're raising up onto this level and then we're outside and he has put four wide doors i tend to put three wide doors i would have done something like that i think but hey who knows oh that means i need a burning furnace i need a burning furnace uh, oh why is it that block that's weird oh, look how, how weird does <laughs> how weird do i look now a santa suit a yellow leota face i've got a banner stuck to my head i've got no right arm and, a, and, and like a big block inside me freaky or what so this is outside. So he's got an outside little dining table, um, an outside bar, isn't this great? And then he's got um, a covered porch area. So he's designing um, really the outside area as well as the inside. Anyway, let's take the inside for now. We've got a staircase going up here, turning up, which is great to plan out that. Um, hmm. How does he get to the master bedroom? Oh. We're going up a level here, and then we're going into the master bedroom. That's interesting. Talking of master bedrooms, this is the master bedroom to die for. <laughs> Look at the size. Our master bedroomy. It is enormous. He's got a fancy window planned as well. Look, he's even planned single window, double, single window. And it kind of sits neatly with an extra block there and an extra block there. So very symmetrical. Got some little cupboards there. Is the sun going down? I hope not. Let's do slash p time. That's no good. <laughs> slash p time at 1400. Let's just hold it 1400. Um, yeah, so this master bedroom, enormous. Also, we have here an underwear room. I don't know if Executioner has a problem with underwear, but this, he has an entire room for socks and underpants. I mean, what? little closet there so you can come out the master bedroom this way as well and you get round to the master bath so we've got maybe a sink there huge bath walk-in shower see how it's all designed very clever very clever indeed then we've got a little small closet there and then we're round into an open plan shoe closet and then again into a laundry room so the master bedroom has its own separate laundry uh, room, which is kind of crazy. Actually, the rest of the house doesn't have much of a laundry as well. Maybe he's planning to do an extra laundry room upstairs. Anyway, back to the hall here, and you can turn right off the hall and go into a, a study. And this is a great room to make like a den, a study. Um, you could even have it a guest room. And again, taking care of business. We've got a hallway into a tiny little half bathroom, and then there's a storage room accessible from the outside of the house as well great planning isn't it hasn't he done well carrying on along the hallway which is four wide and then turning a bit of interest here in the build i like that you can put all sorts of fancy things here and here um, furniture here and here paintings on the wall got a closet um then we're into this bedroom here i wonder this door i wonder if he's thought about where this door should go i might have put the door here just so it's a bit quicker to get to, rather than having to walk all the way over there. So anyway, that's up to him. Um, so a bedroom, we've got the walk-in closet there, and a little bathroom, and a tiny little toilet room there. We've got this bedroom here, which has got a shared bathroom. Now, um, we did the kind of design this a little bit together. Tiny shared bathroom, just a shower. This is gonna be a kid's room, really, because it's small. Small shared bathroom, shared toilet, and another shared bedroom over here with an exit nice exit onto the porch there um back here we've got a workshop now he did have this as a bedroom but this bedroom would exit out the house onto um here's ivo sport he looks like a little duck we'll have a look at him i don't know where he's going um this is a porsche or a portico kind of like a an archway linking the house to the garage there's a single garage here. Um, why is it called a carriage? Oh, he's looking cool. He's only got one arm as well. Why is everyone walking about? We've all been wounded in, in, in walk. We've all got one arm. This is weird. Um, server upgraded to 1.8 and it's given us all one arm. You could put laundry in this workshop as well. 
And if you wanted laundry downstairs, that's a good place to have it. Um, five minutes, please. Um, so what else do we have in this house? Beautiful, uh, big doorway here leading through into, um, I'm not sure what this room is. It's kind of, I think a carpet. It's kind of a connecting room, kind of keeping the kitchen noisy separate from uh, this games room here. <laughs> it's planned out as pool table, loving it. Um, big, big, uh, like this is a triple wide entrance. The reason I like triple wide entrances uh, or exits to a house is when you come to put glass like this, right? For your exit, this is the way you do it, right? Your little patio doors in Minecraft kind of looks like this. Boom, boom. Right? How cool is that? See, triple wide is good. Four wide, just not so realistic. But I, I do like my triple wide doors, I must say. Anyway, smashing fun here. Um, is this a burning furnace? Nope. What happened to my burning ones? Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Um, so we've got this games room here, little card table, beautiful connecting room, little toilet here. Um, what was this as well? Storage, storage for the game room. I'm loving that. I'm loving how he's built in lots of storage into his house. Very realistic, more storage there. And then we're into a huge triple garage. He's even planned out where the cars are gonna go. Triple wide cars and a five wide garage door. And often if you're planning houses, a, an actual garage is, or garage, is the place to start. Because you make your doors five wide and then kind of scale up the rest of the house compared to your garage. I don't know, it, it just, it, it makes sense to me. Um, Got another outdoor area. Ah, oh, this is a sitting room off the master bedroom. So a master bedroom sitting room with a beautiful view over what presumably is the pool here. Master builder, Bar boy boy, has TP'd me somewhere. What the heck, what has he made here? Oh, this is a sports field. I'm working on something new already. This guy never stops. I've never seen anyone build so quick and so amazing as Boy Boy. He's building a sports field and he's got a sports complex here. We'll have a little peek in the window here. I know this is good. I've seen this today. A little peek in the window. Look at that. He's made a gymnasium and everything. Bleachers and uh, like um, treadmill bike things. Awesome. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. The plans. That's pretty much it. I think I'll not keep you any longer, guys. Um, what we're gonna do is check back on Executioner's plans a little bit later on and see how he's building up the walls. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you liked this video. I don't know, this is, we didn't do much. We just looked at plans, but is, is this the kind of video you want me to do? really telling you how we build in Minecraft on the world of Corrales, how we plan out our houses. Because I can make another video to show you the rest of the progress on his house. Kind of an update video. But if this video gets like four views and no likes, then I ain't gonna be making any more like this. So let me know in the comments or do you want me to stick to what I do best? Jedi Mansion, vehicle tutorials, all that sort of jazz. Hey, thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next time, bye bye!